All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chef Jamie Smith, and we are here on a beautiful summer day to make something that is one of my biggest and fondest childhood memories. That's the sound of the ice cream truck as it rolls down the street. Um, I remember running out to the end of the street in the driveway and getting out my quarter to buy a creamsicle. That was my favorite. But today, we're gonna make a 4th of July version of a creamsicle with these beautiful Cal Giant berries. Really simple and easy recipe that you can make at home and is a lot better than some of the things that are in the ice cream truck these days. We're gonna start with about 12 of beautiful giant strawberries. And what you guys are gonna do is cut the tops off and then cut them into thin slices. Jake, will you show us how it's done? Mm -hmm. We're looking for thin slices and then we can just throw them into this bowl. Cut the tops off, perfect. Exactly. And I'll do one also. Yeah, y'all go ahead. Yeah, and then we'll just cut them into thin slices. Some of these big ones are so big, we'll probably have to cut them in half to fit into our popsicle molds. Perfect. And we're going to take about a cup of blueberries. There we go. Then just mix them all right in. There's so many fun different popsicle molds out there. They're ones that you can buy like this and you can reuse them over and over. That's perfect, just throw them in the bowl. Or you can do it the old fashioned way, which is my favorite, and that's taking a paper cup and a popsicle stick. We'll show you how to do that in just a sec. The part that makes it a creamsicle is exactly that. We take one cup of heavy cream and we'll just put it into a mixing bowl. and two cups of fresh squeezed orange juice. And you can substitute pineapple juice if you wanted it to be a little bit more sweet or a more tropical flavor. And if you wanted to make it more like frozen yogurt, you could mix half a cup of milk with half a cup of yogurt in there instead of the heavy cream. But the heavy cream makes it taste just like the creamsicle. We'll take a little rainbow whisk and whisk it together. And then we're ready to fill our popsicle molds. All right, so we ready? What do you think should go on the bottom? Strawberries or blueberries? Blueberries. Blueberry? All right. So what we'll do is drop a few blueberries in. I'll grab some and go ahead and fill them in there. And I'm gonna put a few in my old, old style paper cup. Cause I like to go old school. Fantastic. And then next we're gonna make a layer of what? Strawberries. Strawberries. Now you could throw the strawberries um, in a blender too if you wanted to make a different kind of pop, but this kind we're gonna have these fun layers. Now go ahead and throw some strawberries in there and then we're just gonna pour the cream over the top. That's perfect, absolutely perfect. And then we just pour the cream right over the top and it'll drip down on the inside. We pop these in the freezer for about six hours or overnight. Whoa. Look at that, red, white, and blue popsicles. And it's that easy to make your own 4th of July berry creamsicle pops right at home. I'm gonna do my old fashioned one. Now when you have the old fashioned one, it doesn't come with all the tricks and gadgets, so you have to let it freeze for about an hour, then go in and stick the popsicle stick right in the center. Oh, it might even stand, see? You guys want to help me put the lids on? 